So we're going to play with extending the idea from the previous video of instead of just getting it to act like a neuron, we're going to train the neuron, but just for a single neuron. So how this all works is that we have a change button. We don't need it. It's just a, an input just to say, click, go, get on with it. This button could easily be replaced by something that just goes click, click, you know, just produces a pulse every so often, a clock cycle if you like, and says, now do something, now do something. But I'm going to use the change button here just to show the idea. So when that is clicked, the inputs from here, so input one, first time round, uh, row one, and input two on row one, get fed into here. And what we're after, which is this, gets fed into here. So we're going to go through each time, trying out a different input until we finish with all of them. And then we come back and we'll keep doing this input, check against there, input, check against this, input, check against that, and so on. And we'll use the difference between what we wanted, which is this, or this, depending on which row we're on, and what we got to give us an error, which we then use to correct some weights or add, change some weights. I'll try and explain that a little bit more in a minute or two. So these are going to be our inputs, and this is going to be what I'm, I'm after. So what we should see is that it's we need to uh, go through the input several times to actually get the output we're after and the output we actually get to be the same. And we'll know that has happened when the weights here and the error here don't change. Well, the error here stays zero. This the weights here don't change at all. Central to this is the neuron itself. This section here is the neuron in action. Put the inputs in with the weights, get a one or a zero out, depending on whether the weighted sum is greater or equal to zero, giving us a one out, otherwise zero. But also, we've got these things here, which is, all right, we've done that bit, we've got an output. Now we're going to compare that output, which is number, number one here, with what we wanted. And that gives us an error. We use the error, along with a learning rate, learning coefficient, which is just says we're not going to use all the error. We're going to use a proportion of it. I've initially set it to 0.7, but it doesn't have to be. Plus, sorry, times the actual input that we used. Multiply those together. Add those to the weight. So this will be weight 1, weight 2, and the bias. In this case, we'll be using the input from weight 2 this one here, and then we'll keep doing these. These give us new weights. We then change our new weights. We'll change our old weights to our new weights. So the next time round we use those weights, but the inputs will be different, and we keep going through. So let's see it in action. So I'm going to be doing the AND gate here. which it looks like it's found an acceptable set of weights for already. So let's just try a different set of weights. I'm just going to set them all to zero. So what I wanted was a zero, what I got is a one, so I got an error. We use that error to change the weights. 
So you can see the weights are changing over here as I click through here. But now you can see the weights have settled down. So when I put a one in, sorry, input one, which is this one, I should get a zero out, and I do. When I put one, zero, and one in, I get a zero out. One zero gives me a zero. One one gives me a one. Okay, so I can choose any kind of weights that I wanted. Make them negative. Or zero, it's up to us. Um, they could be randomly produced. So this time, I want to make the OR gate. Okay. So, so I'm going to click through. And it looks like we're there. So, zero, zero gives us a zero. Zero, one gives us a one. One, zero gives us a one. One, one gives us a one. Okay, so let's try something a little bit more interesting. I'm going to make not input two. So this one should have no effect at all for this input one. So it helps to choose the right numbers. So I'm going to make it so that whenever input two values are zero, we get a one. When it's a one, we get a zero and so on. Okay, so let's play with that. So we've got a zero here. Remember, this is not going to do much. That's, that's our goal. We don't want this to have any effect. So we've got zero here, got zero here. So we're not right. We've got an error. One here, one here. So we know we're not there. But now. Zero, zero gives us a one. Zero, one gives us a zero. One, zero gives us a zero. Uh, sorry, one, sorry. And one, one gives us a zero. So we found our sets of weights here.